What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today we're going to be revisiting a cigar that I reviewed a few years ago. And it, from time to time I take uh, cigars that I have uh, seen that have been in the market for a while and I'll re-review them just to see if they've changed. Because a lot of times from year to year the tobaccos are different and sometimes the cigar profiles are a little bit different than they were before. But also I do it too just to see, you know, if, if my experience then, I've learned more about cigars and I have a better reference now. But I don't do that on a lot of cigars. I just decided I was going to do this one. This is a budget cigar, and I say budget cigar because you can get a bundle of 6x60 six uh, Maduros, and it's about $45. And man, man, that's a great deal. You get 20 cigars for $45. I understand that cigars are expensive and a lot of people are looking for a budget. Just because it's a budget cigar does not mean it is a bad cigar and with that said let's go ahead and get into the cigar i'm reviewing it is going to be called the dark shark now this cigar i know has been around since probably 2013 or so even probably before that i don't know i just know that cigar international is one of the few places i found it where you can buy it online at that reasonable price there are a lot of local shops that carry it uh as a budget friendly cigar but again like i said this is a six by sixty Gordo, and this is a, uh, like I said, 20, 20 of these cigars in a bundle, roughly $45. But with that said, let's go ahead and look at the cigar, and as you can tell, this is a uh, broadleaf uh, Maduro wrapper. Now, it does indicate it is from Honduras, but I know there is Nicaraguan in there. Now, the, the binder is not clarified, the filler says Nicaraguan. I haven't found a lot of information on it, and again, they may not promote a lot just because they might change it up slightly because it is a budget-friendly cigar, but man, it has nothing to do with being a bad cigar at all. I have smoked, smoked dozens, of, dozens of these. You'll see reviews all over the internet about them, but there is nothing wrong with this cigar one bit. All right, as we get into the pre-draw, uh, before I get into the cutting up, like I said, dark. Maduro wrapper, uh, the seams are pretty tight. Uh, I mean, you can see them. There's a little bit of veins, a little bit of seaming. It's not 100% what you would spend on a high-end cigar, but in all the time I've smoked these, I've never had huge construction problems, and I never have had issues where it just is terrible. But again, knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't happen. But let's go ahead and get into the cigar, and what I'll be using today is my trusty straight cut now for those who don't know what this is this is a straight guillotine cutter and that's going to take it straight off the top there are other ones there are punches which leaves a little hole in the middle there are also uh, v cuts which cuts obviously cuts a v in the top of the cigar so it gives a little bit of an angle and then there's guys who just uh peel the foot off if you can see the cap here uh, the very top piece is just one little small piece that they do to cover the cap and sometimes guys just peel that off and smoke it that way. However you want to smoke it, uh, not my problem, it's how you enjoy it. But I'm going to go ahead and do the guillotine, so give me one second. And just a sidebar on the guillotine, the best way if you're not familiar with cutting cigars or you've never done it and you're looking to find out how do I cut it. Well, you know, you can cut it, but you don't want to cut too much because if you cut too far, you'll start to see here, you'll start to see more tobacco. And because it is hand wrapped, it will unroll. So the best plan with these, lay it on the table, flat, open it, and then when you push this down, leave it on the table and just close it. It'll just take off enough until you get to a point where you're like me, where you kind of, kind of can ring gauge exactly where to cut it. But with that said, go ahead. I'm getting right off the bat a dried raisin profile. A little bit of sweetness from that. Just a little bit of pepper way on the back of the palate. Got a real good earthy profile as most Maduros do. Smells like, smells like if you've ever, if, if you've ever experienced being around horses and horse feed if you go into a room where they store the horse pellets kind of like it smells like it's like an alfalfa pellet like a dried hay 
But with that said, let's go ahead and get it lit up. I'll be back with the first third of the Dark Shark. All right, everybody, welcome back for the first third. The beginning of the Dark Shark Maduro 6x60. As you can see, it has a really good draw, a lot of smoke, which is, I like a cigar. What's the point of smoking a cigar if you can't see what you're smoking? That's just my opinion. We are getting a little bit of that chocolate notes of a baker's chocolate. Uh, not so sweet, but just the chocolate cocoa profile. A little bit of pepper on the back of the palate. A little bit of dryness. It's got a good draw. Like I said, just that little bit of that cocoa, a little bit of that back pepper. Might be a little bit of fresh alfalfa. And for those who are asking alfalfa, if you ever chewed on hay or been around it, picked up some dried grass, I don't know, as a kid I did that. I know others that have. So that's what I'm kind of getting is that profile. But we are getting that this cigar is going to be a, a high, a high medium strength a real low full maybe some people say it's a full some don't I haven't personally got it to a whole full profile but again I smoke a lot of dark Maduro's so my tolerance is a little bit different but with that said we're gonna keep going through it with a dark shark I'll be back in a minute with the second third all right everybody welcome back for the second third of our review of the dark shark Maduro 6x60 Gordo as you can see, the cigar is not burning razor sharp, but it is burning fairly even, and there's not uh, a lot of touch-ups that have to occur with this cigar that I'm experiencing. As you can see, it is a little bit of a more of a white ash. It is a little bit flaky, so it might be something you want to either knock off or pay attention to, because if you're sitting somewhere and you drop it on you, it's going to be all over the place. But that's not even a bad idea for the cigar. Just a little bit because probably it's not, you know, like I said, it's a budget friendly cigar. So the tobacco is not the first pick of the crop. It's probably one in the middle or towards the end. Uh, but it is still a great cigar. The profiles are there. Now I'm getting in the second third more of a, of a uh, mocha profile. There is a little bit of a, a presence of a teeny bit of oak. Other than that, it is burning pretty uh, medium staying about medium and if you're a first-time cigar smoker this might be something that you cut your teeth on uh, as far as Maduro's but you know even those who don't like a lot of dark or full strength cigars or dark Maduro's you may like this one just because it's a simply it's just a real basic Maduro as far as complex profiles but it is a good smoke with that said I'm going to keep going through it. I'll be back with our final third and my final thoughts of the Dark Shark right after this. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. Welcome back for the final third of our review of the Dark Shark 6x60 Gordo Maduro. Now, in the final third, everything, like I had said, is staying pretty well balanced to what it was. Profiles earlier, uh, the cigar is still uh, not burning razor sharp, uh, but it isn't... Uh, burning bad there's no really con there's no construction issues that I've experienced other than the slight not straight burn uh, again the ash is a little flaky so make sure you either knock it off or you pay attention to it or you get a lap full but with that said if you're looking for a budget cigar and you want something where you can get quite a bit for less than fifty dollars man definitely check out cigar international this cigar the 6x60 gordo is about forty five dollars you get twenty in the bundle Man, and I have to say, it is something to have if it's an everyday smoke you're looking for. If you're new to cigars and you don't have a lot of experience with a lot of different brands uh, and you want to buy it, uh, something you know you'll enjoy, definitely recommend this. But as I said, I reviewed this again. I did this a couple years ago because it's been out since about 2013 that I'm aware of. And I wanted to see if the cigar changed at all. And it really hasn't. It still has a good quality to it, a good budget price. And it is something that you would want to keep in the humidor all the time. And then something you can give to friends if they're new to cigars or they haven't ever tried a cigar. You give them something light like this uh, to uh, do that. Man, but man, all in all, definitely suggest it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Also, leave your comments. And as always, have a great day. 
have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.